back to another episode of what is well i am playing mechanics and other little knickknacks inside of pso2 that might not been a point very well logic not a point at all and today we are going to go ahead and look at client order and questing inside of a pso2 but before we hop into that if you are new to the channel and you haven't already since i know a lot of you haven't feel free to hit that subscribe button below and also do like favorite do some comments you know do everything youtube love for you to do and with that let's get into a discussing some client orders client orders is what pso2 calls questing any npc that you see with that little a blue bubble over their head is npcs that will have quested for you you can find them cattle all across the ships inside of pso so anytime you see this you will know that is a quest you can take just know some of the quests it can actually be tied to certain classes such as the npcs that are cattle around the middle elevator in the gate lobby these will be quests that you will have to take upon with certain classes and to meet a certain means but outside of the people around the elevator all the other quests are up for free no matter what type of class you are playing outside of the class pacific a quest gibble you do have npc such as a Jan Hill, who will uh, give you quests that will treat more like a tutorial to educate you on how to do certain thing within the game. So you will also have these available to you as well. And then there is other NPCs. The quests are just mainly here to give you extra affiliates and to help you uh, level up as you going through questing and uh, going around uh, through a uh, dungeons. And the last quest type is daily orders. These are exactly what it sounds like. Every day, they will refresh with three new quests for you to take part in. And you can find these uh, daily orders by coming to the gate area. On the left side, you will see an NPC here with the name Daily Order Officer. You want to go ahead and talk to her and pick Client Order. From here, she will have a whole bunch of quests for you. All of these are technically counted as dailies but the important ones here are the ones at the very top will always be the top three with the blue arrow going up on them these are pacific quests that you will take that will in return max out your daily boots up to 15. and what this is is as you level up the daily boots uh, you will get a, a bonus percent of that effect toward on your character which mainly break down into any more affiliate for your character so make sure you do these every day so you can keep getting the amount of extra affiliates that will help you a level up and also there will be certain npcs that will have quested for you but the npcs might not be showing up on your screen and you might be wondering where all they or how to get them and if you are missing npc the best way to actually unlock them so you can get quested from them is running over to the quest counter in the gate area doesn't matter which side you go to and you want to go ahead and go down to three quests and play through all the episodes as you go through episode one episode two and so on you will start noticing more of the NPCs you meet in the story will start popping up on your ship and you will be able to uh, take quests from them. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into any more details here. So, like I stated, any a person with a bubble over their head is a quest gibble. You want to go ahead and talk to them and select client orders. As you can see, you will have a list of a whole bunch of distant quests depending on the NPCs. Some have more than others. And the best way to uh, know which ones are new have been done or are ones uh, that you need to do is uh, broken up into three symbols. The fourth one is a cult of symbols uh, with a circle that is not filled in. Them are quests that you have not done yet and are all available for you. And then you have quests with estimation marks. These are all quests that recently been added. Might it be because you met a certain milestone such as a level or you took part in other quests that will then unlock more once you complete it and as far of the clown this is how you know what quests you have done and you completed before just know a lot of these quests are repeatable uh, most of them over here on the bottom of white menu will state usually if uh, this is an order that can be accepted many times is it an order that only can be done a certain time of a week 
or quests that are still locked and you need to come back at a later date. Outside of that, if we start from the top of the menu here, we of course have a decline order title. This here will give you the name of the area and what type of quest it is. Might it be a killing enemy, might be collecting item, or something in between. And then we have the client, which is who is giving you the order heal. And then you have objective, which will break down what you need to do for the quest offhand. Such in the case of this, defeating a 200 enemies. And then in complete reward, we have a breakdown of everything. We're going to get our hands on heal, uh, such as how much Macedo you're going to get, how much affiliates, and also what item might also be trolled in as well. Just know they does fluctuate depending on what quest you are doing. So keep an eye out for this and reward for this and quests. And then we have a client method. Client method is pretty much at the bait bell minimum of uh, beat it level, be in it zone, get like an S wank or A wank, and in some other aspects. You will get a, a little blob here of the story and that the character are telling you so if you someone want to skip between dialogue but want to get a bait synopsis of what's happening some of the client messages uh, will actually give that to you since you are in the menu you might be wondering how to actually tell what zone the quest is in easily and not have to read the quest description to figure it out and that is a, a very a simple way to do so at the very top you will see a display all if you click on that you can go ahead and pick whatever area you are interested in might it be the forest or ruins or anything in between if you are using a controller you can go ahead and hit the left bumper or right bumper and that will shift in between each of the areas and from here you can see which quests is available well and if you are playing on mouse and keyboard you can go ahead and use your left or right arrow key to a go between the menus also and once you have some quests and if you want to double check what the objectives are or see what one you have complete it's very easy to double check that so all you gotta do is a bring up your main menu and on over to the globe icon and select client orders from here you can pick everyone client order or outstanding orders. So let's go ahead and start off with everyone client orders. As you can see here, you have an option net to it that in my case, say 23 out of 40. What this means is if you are a free to play player, you will have an option to take on 20 client orders at a time. If you a, a premium user who paid the 15 bucks a month, uh, you will have the ability to take up to 40 a client order so you can double how many you can take. So once you're ready, go ahead and click on client orders. And from here, you will see a list of everything uh, you have taken and which ones are completed or which one that don't need to be completed. So if you see the little blue symbol, that means that quest is not done. And you still have some things you have to do. If you see it with a green highlight with a check mark, that means the client order is completed and ready to be torn in to whichever NPC you got that quest from. And then outstanding orders is a list of NPCs. The NPCs will be all the ones that you have unlocked in the story and have took quests with. As you can see, they have some faces net to them which represent how much they like you so the more quests you do for that specific npc the more they will like you and in return they will give you presents for actually completing x amount of quests because as you can see we do have a little loading bar with a present icon net to it that will show you how close you are to receiving your present so you got your quests done and ready to turn them in it's a very simple way to see which NPCs you have to turn them into without checking your quest log. And that is a quote with a little a green a check mark bubble flashing over their head. You want to go ahead to talk to the NPC and a pick client order. And from here, you can go ahead, click on the quest and say yes, you want to report it. And there you go. You will go ahead and turn in your quest. There you go. There is everything you need to know about questing and taking on client orders inside of a pso2 and if you have found that video helpful in any way shape or form 
make sure you do the like favorite subscribe hit all the bell do some comment below youtube love that i love that a happier time for all of us and with that don't forget i do stream here on youtube every a saturday and sunday with pso2 starting at 3 p.m central and then of course on monday through wednesday i stream all sorts of games right here starting at noon central and with that that will do it for me and i will go ahead and see you all in the comments um, to the end everybody if you haven't already make sure you check out the videos here since some of that stuff might be interested to you also a big thank you to all my supporters over on a patreon.com slash macon you can find the link in the description and i like to give a call out to kyle blauer i probably mispronounced your last name sorry but thank you all for your support and i will see you all in the comments indeed this time actually in the comments bye